Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending each and every one of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Capricorn and it will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, um, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, there is a link um, in the description box, or you can click the join button below to get more information. Um, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. You can find the links um, to both in the description box. So what I'm already getting for you guys this week is that like if somebody was like trying to make a decision about whether or not they wanted to choose you or if there was some type of outside interference or if somebody wasn't prioritizing you, 111 on the camera, someone's about to choose you or want to make you a priority in their life. We're going to see why. All right. Someone is feeling, okay, so someone's feeling rejected by you. They're feeling lonely. They're feeling like pessimistic. Mm, yeah, this was somebody that was not wanting to open their heart to you or avoiding intimacy with you. Emotionally unavailable. For some of you, they were literally unavailable, like they were in another relationship or they had somebody else, but... They were just, they were unavailable, unavailable in some way um, because they were not sure of this, like how they felt about you. They were indecisive. Like I said, they couldn't make up their mind about whether or not they wanted to be with you or choose you. But let's see here. What's out in the cold? Even though like you and this person are maybe not speaking or they feel like you, you either you rejected them, they rejected you. They're feeling like isolated or alone. They still feel you in some way. Okay. Um, they're still haunted by you, but they're holding back. They're not fighting for this at the moment. Why? Why are they? Okay. So what's to do with... they're this person's like getting in this energy where they're starting to feel like you are worth any trouble that they would have to go to go through to be with you or to get you back. Like this person was like not taking any action towards you and they were holding back, but they're starting to feel like because they cannot escape this connection, they still feel you. They also maybe feel like you're rejecting them or leaving them behind or something, leaving them out in the cold. While this is happening, they're going through this heart space, this awakening, this opening, this ascension, right? Um, they have this love or these feelings for you that they haven't been telling you. But yeah, it's like, they're having like some type of awakening to how they feel about you while you guys are not, yeah, while you guys are in separation, disconnected. The relationship has ended or broke down, but they still feel you and they're actually getting clarity about their feelings for you. Whatever, and just, you know, whatever lack of clarity they had before, that's being cleared up for them. All right. Yeah, this is that card I saw when I was shuffling. Even if you and this person are not together, they still view you as the one. They're happy ending or like they're very much still focused on you. Like I don't see them dealing with anyone else. They're, what's maybe holding them back is like their ego. All right. Tell me about out in the cold. Yeah. Habitual liar. Self-delusion. Mm -mm. They've been lying to themselves about something. Yeah, they're getting clarity that they want to, to preserve this connection. They don't want to let this go. This is somebody that was thinking that they were doing better than they actually were or something like that. They're going through some type of financial issues or something or let's see. They're they're up in their head thinking about you a lot. Maybe they weren't expecting to feel. What's the shocking event? Them feeling like they can't move on from you. They were not expecting this to feel stuck. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this person was not expecting to feel this way about you, to not be able to stop thinking about you, to not be able to move on from you. 
Um, you guys have definitely set boundaries with this person because they're toxic and they're childish. And yeah. But it's like they're going to come in with an apology or want to try to fix things with you. I see it. We have divine intervention. Angels are helping. Trust the divine plan. Believe in miracles. They're going through some type of financial issues. But it's like they were. What were they lying to themselves about? Yeah. Look, this person thought that they could move on from you or something. For for some of you, they, they didn't think that it was over. Yeah, they maybe thought that they had more, they had time to make things right with you or that you would be waiting on them or like they could take their time with making a decision about this. But that wasn't the truth. And I really feel like this person wasn't expecting to be this heartbroken and sad over, you know, the, the two of you not being together or you leaving them behind. Um, yeah, they're suffering and grieving over this breakup, unable to move on from you. They felt like they had more time than they actually did. Like they were lying to themselves and they felt like they had time. Yeah, they felt like like once they came, like once they changed. Yeah, they have this, yeah, mirroring. I feel like you guys both don't want to lose each other. You guys both don't want to see each other with other people, right? Like, but it's like this person just thought that once they got their changed or they got it together, that you guys would end up in some type of like more serious commitment. But yeah, this person's about to reach out to you. Yeah, it's like they want you to wait while they like grow and they change. Or that's what they wanted you to do. But like your connection was very toxic with them. With the way that, you know, who they were and who you were. Hmm. I feel like this person wasn't sure if they wanted a commitment, but they're getting clarity about it now. Maybe you guys both needed to take some time to heal as well. Tell me about happiness. Yeah, they feel like they found their person. You guys could be twin flames. Yin and yang, intense soul connection, polar opposites. Proof. But they wanted proof that you were it or something like that. What about ghosting? Soulmate. See, they're, they're realizing who you are after there's been some type of ending. Like now you guys are no longer speaking to one another they're getting, they're having some type of shift in perspective that you are the person for them, that you guys are compatible, that you guys can make this work, that you guys do have some type of soul connection now that you've cut them off and you're moving forward, right? Focusing on yourself. They play games. <sighs> Goodness. Tell me about closed heart. Yeah, their ego. I'm telling you, it's this person's ego. But they're about to, wow, look at this. We have closed heart. You see all this heart's in this cage and then we have unlocking. You have the key to this person's heart. They know this. But somehow out there, their ego has been like resisting this. Ooh, now we, what do we have about third party? So there could have been a third party interference. And that says, yeah, that's why they were waiting. Bad timing, waiting for the right time. Patience is needed. What about the third party? What's that dry spell? They're not dealing with that situation or person anymore, but what's this do with third party? They did maybe have options. What is this? First love, but they feel like you're the one that they love. The other people were like just more like lust or sexual or something like that. Yeah, like you're the one that they want. For some of you, they were married. They were going through a divorce. Hmm. What? They have regrets, though. Feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage. For what? Why are they feeling regretful? For being toxic? Yeah, thinking that, yeah, now they need, feel like they need to hurry up and rush in and do something because they feel like it's about to be a permanent ending between the two of you. That what you guys once both said that you wanted to have together, you don't want that with them anymore. What does closed heart have to do with third party? Mm, see, see, yeah, wanting to be free, not ready for commitment, independent, happy, single. Yeah, send mixed signal, signals, inconsistency. Why do we have love offer here? They would maybe like come in with some type of expression of emotions or some type of offer to kind of keep you strung along. But it just was like a repeating cycle between you and this person. Yeah, you guys are maybe...
they're gonna try to come back and make something up to you because they know that they've they've broken you. They're gonna come, want to come back and earn your trust. Tell me what was causing these mixed feelings or these mixed emotions, Spirit. Why was mixed feelings here? Mixed feelings. Love offer. Yeah, they've been indecisive about whether or not they want to literally give you their heart or open their heart up to you. Because they're not, they haven't been sure of the relationship. Why? But like they feel so drawn to you. They do. It says captured by love. Hard to resist. Undivided attention. So why are they fighting this? Why are they resisting this? They regret it now. I don't know. Yeah, fights, addictions. They were going through, yeah, bad habits, addictions, destructive behaviors. Yeah, depression, hopelessness, feeling victimized, taking a break. Yeah, they thought this was just going to be a break, but they're realizing that this is like a final ending between the two of you. They desire you. Yeah, they, they haven't, they've been taking you for granted. You definitely triggered this person. You intimidated them. That I feel like that really irked their ego. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean going forward with um, this person? What, what can Capricorn expect going forward? See, I don't know. We have finality. It says permanent ending. No more chances. Goodbye to the old. Or something is about to change. See, unvalued. Taken for granted. Unequal give and take. There's something about to like. There's something new. A new cycle. Manifesting what? You're going to hear from them, but hmm, they watch you. They keep tabs on you. They're coming in with some. Okay, let's see. What is this person's intentions? What are they? How are they coming? They're coming. They're going to reach out to you. See, I don't know, guys. Look at this. It keeps coming out. Taken for granted. Unequal give and take. Not feeling appreciated. So they're coming towards you and they still don't value you. I told you you're going to hear from them. And why are they coming forward then? They still don't value, they want to reconcile, want to work things out. They will return. There's unfinished business. Yeah, extravagant gestures, gestures from the heart, walking the talk, making it up to you. Can they trust this? Mm, home. See, why is third party here? Why is third party coming out? Why are they reaching out to you? They're going to take a risk and do what? They're trying to be strategic. They're letting somebody go so that they can build something more solid with you and move forward. What is this? Who is this third party, though? Hmm. What was interfering could have just been this person thinking that they had all the time in the world, their, their insecurities, their issues, them being resistant to change. Because I don't really see, like, another... Yeah, work could have been an issue... But they, they do want, like, they feel drawn. Yeah, divorce. They could have been married. Yeah, in a karmic cycle. They were maybe separated from a karmic or going through a separation or a divorce from a karmic. Mm. So what does that mean for their connection with Capricorn? Yeah, that's why you guys were not, it was toxic. It was a toxic relationship. They needed to clean up their life. They needed to tie up some loose ends. Yeah. Abundance. What's to do with them? Yeah, what's this to do with Capricorn? They kind of feel like you guys are just, they know that they're not on the same level as you. All right, and you've set boundaries. They've misled you or broken your trust too many times. They know that something is different about you. No one compares to you. First true love, new love experience. Maybe this person feels like you're you're meeting somebody new. Maybe they think you have a third party. For some of you, they, they have a knowing or they have a feeling, especially if you and this person are energetically connected. They know that you're moving on or that you're dealing with somebody else. I'm telling you, when you have energetic connections with people, they can feel those types of things. And you'll wonder, like, when I, I was finally feeling happy and I was dating again, I was getting out there again, and here they can't come back. Yeah, because you probably have an energetic connection with that person. So they're coming back because they're feeling like you're letting them go. Like, they feel you let, letting them go. They feel like you're, you're being blessed. You're having, you know, you're happy without them. They feel like you possibly have, are letting them go and you're opening up to the possibility of new love or you are dating somebody new already. They can feel that. And it sucks for them because they knew that, you know, the connection that you guys shared was special. They knew that you were special, but their ego, their ego was not letting them fully surrender to this and open up to this completely. They couldn't make up their mind about this. 
and now you know they may not get another chance with you i keep getting this feeling too that this person thought that they had time like they thought that they had time to get their shit together and come back towards you and that you guys would be together one day that they're being delusional like they thought that they that they you would just always be there waiting on them um and they're gonna realize that that's not the case i think that they're even just starting to energetically feel that that's not the case anymore it may not be i mean some of you guys have stopped talking to them completely yeah ten of swords there's been some type of ending painful ending possibly yeah loss stabbed in the back yep collapse betrayal failure exhaustion the magician aries energy okay that came out weird sideways I feel like maybe it's like something's in limbo. It's like with this coming out, I feel like you guys haven't 100% let this person go or left them behind. But you're, it's like you're one foot in, one foot out the door type energy. Hmm. Or this is them. If they needed to leave something behind, they're like one foot in, one foot out the door. Or they're in the process of it. They're kind of like in this stagnant limbo. What is that? Yeah, delays. Mm-hmm. They're growing impatient with something. Let's see. Maybe they're sick of their f money being bad or their finances not improving or, you know, it not being terrible, but not being good either or something like that. Tell me more about the magician, the chariot. There's going to be some type of action taken here. Movement forward. Two opposing forces working towards a goal. Hmm. Cancer energy. Tell me more. The hair font in reverse. It's like you guys want the same thing. It's like you guys really do want the same thing, but it's like you guys are not on the same page. It's because someone is acting out of love and the other person is acting out of ego. I'm telling you, like, that's why this commitment is not manifesting. Or somebody is realizing that they're going to have to do something different, a new method or a new way. They're going to have to get on the same page as you or something if they want things to progress with you. The Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have Taurus with the Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like you're standing. You blocked this person. I feel like this person is trying to look you up on social media or they're like looking out for you. On It's something to do with online. All right. Or they're trying to get information on you, but they're not able to. All right. Because you guys have literally blocked this person. You're standing your ground and they're starting to lose hope and faith. Yeah, they're starting to lose hope and faith, starting to feel insecure. Mm-hmm. What does this mean for Capricorn? The Empress. Wow, you're in your Empress or your Emperor energy. Mm-hmm. Nine of Pentacles energy, too. You got your shit together. You're glowing. Abundant. Tell me more. The hanged man. Somebody's starting. Oh, so somebody's starting to see your worth now. Someone's perspective is changed. Or you're you're letting this person go because you know your worth. Take it how it resonates. See, what does this mean for Capricorn? The Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands. See, somebody is wanting it. Somebody is something didn't work out for this person. They're like, yeah, their ego. I'm telling you, <laughs> they have this huge ego. Mm, what does this mean for this person? What does this mean for this person? Yeah, they're not happy. Like they're going through something. Lack of fulfillment, greed, laziness, negative indulgence, ungrateful. I feel like this person's realizing that they took you for granted. Now they're seeing your worth. Now they're looking at you differently after they've had some type of failure. What is the Eight of Swords? The Ace of Cups in reverse. They're just really up in their head feeling. St what does that mean for them? Yeah, they're losing sleep. They're having anxiety. Why? What about the four of swords, the moon? I feel like they, you don't, they don't know what the hell is going on with you. Yeah, they've been resisting. Fail they haven't been learning their lesson. They keep repeating the same cycles. Oof, goodness. What is this Ace of Wands? What's this mean for them? 
I think this person is starting to feel like they're, this is something that they're not going to be able to heal with you or make work with you anymore. Like, you don't want this anymore. What about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? So we have um, Sagittarius and Pisces energy. Or we have the fixed signs, okay? Um, yeah, limiting beliefs. This person is staying stuck in some type of outdated cycles or being resistant to change because they don't believe in themselves. They have self-limiting beliefs. They're immature, mm -hmm, lazy. They don't want to take any initiative. Yeah, they don't want to put the work in. You're talking about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't want to put the work in. <laughs> like, they're lazy. Why? Why are they like this? <laughs> Why don't they want to put the work in? They're just stuck. They're not doing anything. It's like they're almost like projecting negativity and fear and failure into a situation that they haven't even tried to make work. You know what I mean? Like, they just feel like it's not even worth... Why, why try? Why should I put too much effort into this? It's going to fail anyways. Like, that's what I'm seeing. They're stuck on what happened in the past. They're unable to let go of it. And they're just super immature. Tell them, yeah, they need to let the past go. They need to let it go. Yeah, what about the Queen of Wands? If there is somebody else here, what's this mean for them? The world. The King of Swords. Something about you guys closing out of the cycle is making this person, they're getting some, that they need to leave a toxic situation behind. Who is this Queen of Wands? Aries Leo Sag energy. Somebody that they're freeing themselves from? What's this mean for them? Yeah, somebody that they were having conflict with. Who's this, what's this mean for Capricorn? Temperance. They want to reconcile with you. Have paid, Yeah, they're going to want to work on something with you. Or they want to know if you still want to work on this. They're going to choose to leave something else behind that was toxic and choose to go down the path of you. You know what I mean? But you're going to have to decide if you want to still give want they they want to know if you still want that with you with them. Goodness. Why are they making that decision now? Why are they doing this now? Cuz they failed. Something's not working out for them. Oh no, they just can't get out of their head. Why are they making the decision to do this now? The moon yeah, re forgiveness, recovery, apologies. Why are they wanting to heal things with Capricorn now? Choose Capricorn. Why are they wanting to choose Capricorn now? I'm not, they're not telling me. They're getting some type of clarity here. That you are abundant. That you... Yeah, something about you. The High Priestess. Two of Wands. The Tower. What's the tower? They're, they're like all of a sudden seeing your worth. I don't know. What's the tower? Scorpio energy. Ooh, something else is coming to an end. They're having some type of struggle in another situation. They're, they're tired. They're giving up on something. Financial failure or loss of an investment. Dark side of wealth, deep family conflicts. They're like, it can even be a family situation. They're family. They're breaking out of some type of like dread generational curse or something for some of you. Toxic family. Yeah, that situation's not working out. So I feel like they're they're tired. They're letting something go. Yeah, a destruction of an old foundation in their life. Leading them to making this choice. Yeah, didn't I say somebody was one foot in, one foot out the door? They've been trying to figure out if they want to leave something behind. Should I stay or should I go? I'm telling you. What's this mean for what they're going to do in regards to Capricorn? Yeah, they've been, they haven't, they've been, they haven't, oh, I can't even talk. Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords. They've not know, known what to do about this. They've been confused. They've been weighing their options, indecisive, trying to figure out what's the, what they're supposed, what they should do. They don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me more. Oh my gosh, guys! I can barely even hold this deck. I made it too big. Yeah, guarded. They were maybe trying to have a friends with benefits type relationship with you. Yeah, this deck is too thick for me to hold. I'm going to have to split it. Stay together. And it says they can be trusted. 
So you and this person are maybe end up getting back together. And Spirit says that there will be a time when you will be able to trust them. Marriage. Okay. Separation time apart. Yeah. This is some you and this person had to spend some time apart. They will text or call. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Refuses. It says they don't feel the same. Hmm. And it says refuses to take ownership and accountability. I am letting down my walls. Yeah, this person was maybe telling you that they didn't feel the same way about you. Or maybe at some point they didn't. But they were being extremely guarded. Now they're wanting to let down their walls. Focus on you. Don't worry about them. Yeah. So you've been dealing with somebody that doesn't want to like come to terms with some things. They don't want to take accountability. Spirit says just shift your focus to yourself. Don't worry about them. See, I use you when it benefits me. Mm -mm. Yeah. Heartbreak. Yeah, this was heartbreaking. Beggar mooch. I was just saying like they were an opportunity. I was thinking about that. They're an opportunist. They were using you in some way. Yep. Let's enjoy our happiness together. I was blind. I'm sorry. See, they weren't seeing something clearly. They couldn't see that being with you. See, wow. They don't love, they don't love you like I do. Hmm. Either that was you. Th that could be what you told this person. Like you were trying to tell them that you genuinely love them and they somebody that they thought loved them didn't. It was their fam toxic family or their ex or whoever. But they couldn't see that somebody didn't love them the way that you love them. They didn't feel good enough for you. That's why they didn't feel worthy of the love and the, the whatever you were giving to them. They didn't feel worthy of it. They maybe even had some people that were like blackmailing them or like using something against them or like trying to make them feel guilty or something like that. Yeah, they want to be happy with you now. They couldn't see it before, but now they're starting to see it. Mm. all right y'all i'm gonna take this over to the extended reading we're gonna take a deeper look to see what this person is feeling what they're going through their intentions timing guidance all that will be in the extended reading the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings personal readings are open there is a link in the description box to schedule and don't forget to like or follow me on instagram and tiktok if you're interested in collective readings i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i will talk to you I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.